welcome to the r and Property Podcast with the real estate girl, Denise Haynes. In our podcast, we talk about all things real estate in rural New South Wales. We discuss a diverse range of topics to do with real estate, whether it is about making the tree change, doing a reno, or getting to know our awesome country community. If ever you are in the area, please pop by and meet our team. r and Property are an amazing all-women real estate agency, working within the Stroud, Gloucester and Bulladilla areas. Now for our podcast. Hi everyone and welcome to podcast number six. I'm Denise Haynes from r and Property. Today I have invited a special guest into the r and office to chat with us. You know, at r and Property, we specialise in assisting our clients in making the move from city areas to the country, what we like to call a tree change. Our guest today is Karen Hutchinson, one of the busiest ladies I know. So firstly, I'd like to welcome you, Karen, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. Thank you, Denise. It's a pleasure to be here. Now, Karen is our local council representative and uh, from Mid Coast Council. She also runs her own businesses and a thousand acre farm, is that correct? Yeah, so she's a very busy lady. Now, the reason I wanted to speak with you is because you have actually done the tree change yourself. Um, As everyone knows, I'm always advising our clients to chat with others that have already made the move just to get an experienced account of things. So now I know you packed up your family and moved to the country and we'd love to hear your story, Karen. So firstly, how long has it been since you made the move and where were you living before? It's 19 years since we we left the Northern Beaches in Sydney, which I thought was God's country and um, we've re-established God's country up here. Very good. I agree with that. (laughs) Now, what were you worried about with moving to the country area? I had my own business in Sydney and I'm a bit of a people person and I I was only momentarily concerned about um, about the move and I just thought, well, let's run with this. And um, I suppose I had plan B in my mind that I could always run back to Sydney, but never, never, never. Very good. I'm very pleased to hear that, I must say. Karen is a very big um, advocate for Stroud. She's Stroud proud and we love her. So people are often concerned about finding work in a country area. That's one of the major things that I hear all the time. Um, So, you know, have you had trouble finding work? I know that's not true because, as I said, you are one of the busiest people I know. But maybe just, you know, let everyone know what it is that you do do and how you've come about that. Okay, eight years ago I broke my leg on on our farm and um, while I was recuperating I designed a a label to go on a jar and uh, I didn't know what I was going to put in that jar but I thought I wasn't going to waste this nine months of being incapacitated and not come out with something positive out of it. So we now run a very successful family owned and run um, jam and condiment business and um, and you'll find our products scattered between uh, Sydney, Newcastle, America and um, and we're very, very delighted about that. And I think as far as employment is concerned, look, there's a lot of casual work up here. There's, um, if you're willing to have a go, and I have seen so many home-based businesses evolve in this town or in this valley, is unbelievable. You would be surprised what's what's in a lot of people's homes with um, creative arts, um, men with mechanic businesses at home. Look, it's just amazing. Yeah, that's true. There really is plenty of work there. Depending on what you want to do, you know, the work is there to find if you want it. Um, so just so everyone knows too, Karen's business is called Stroud Valley Harvest and it's absolutely beautiful. We stock our settlement gift packs with Stroud Valley Harvest goodies and everyone always raves about them. So she's a very busy lady. And am I correct in saying you do all that out of your home kitchen? Yes. We do, we, we run it, we, we cook it, we, we package it and um, yeah, and we, we have fun. It's, it's a family involvement because when you've got a few hundred jars of 
jammed label, the um, you call in calling the troops for help. So even the grandkids get a helping hand, do they, or actually help you out? Sorry. Absolutely, absolutely, and and they help on the farm. We uh, we have an egg farm with birds that are free to range, and um, we're we're now with Woolworths with our with our farm fresh eggs, and um, the five grandchildren help on the farm too. Yeah, that's great. I've seen them on Facebook digging veggie gardens and having a great time riding their motorbikes around. And what are your eggs called? Stroud Valley Harvest Eggs. Excellent. And I can recommend those too. (laughs) Now, another thing that people worry about is their friends and family. Will they ever, ever come and visit us? Um, So maybe have a chat about, you know, friends and family. Do you still see them? Do you still go back to Sydney? Have you made friends here? Let us know what that's about. I've got a huge friend base in this valley um, and I go back to, to Sydney for business only and I go down and I run straight back. Friends and family, um, they we had a very big influx of visitors when we first moved up here and they were amazed that we actually had running water and electricity. And um, the, the visits sort of now are, are sort of spread far apart because they, they thought my husband was taking me away from the city and in, into the boondocks, but um, they were flabbergasted when they saw the way we live up here. Oh, that's good. And they come and visit you. Have any of them made the move themselves? Uh, yes, actually. We, we have some friends at Bulladeela that um, were friends on the on the northern beaches and uh, they've embraced the the community in Bulladeela too you know it's um, it's wonderful and you can be as busy or as relaxed as you like you, you know it's all about choice yeah that's it it's all about quality of life isn't it yeah that's great okay and how do you find our local community our local community are just absolutely amazing They've got the biggest hearts. If if anybody is in in strife, you know, there's always somebody that you can call on, and uh, yeah, it's it's an amazing community. Yeah, that's true. Everyone pulls together when the time is needed, don't they? Yeah. yeah if there's any sort of you know drama or disaster or someone struggling, everyone pulls together, and that's when you really find out. <clears throat> excuse me, what the community's like. Okay, so another thing that we do hear quite often is about the commuting. And I quite often say to people, look, you know, yes, you commute to travel, uh, sorry, to work. Yes, you commute to work, but you are traveling along lovely country roads, taking in the landscape, not stuck in gridlock. So have you actually found that to be the case as well because I know you do a lot of traveling you work from home but with the council you're also traveling a lot look it's it's amazing you know you you don't realize until you look at your um your speedometer and go wow have I done that many many kilometers because it doesn't feel like you're, you're doing that many um we actually live on the buckets way and there is a peak hour leaving Stroud and it starts about 5 a.m in the morning and there, there is a stream of people that go down the Buckets Way to commute to Newcastle. I know for a fact that there's even a few people that commute to, the, to Gosford for work. It's, it's an easy drive. Yeah, and that's it. I love to listen to podcasts just like this while I'm travelling around. It's a great time to think and reflect and to learn as well, isn't it? Okay, so how has your family adjusted to the move? Well, our family, we, we brought our two girls up. Well, we brought one daughter up from Sydney and, and, and her daughter and one daughter went to uni at Bathurst the, the same year that we moved up here. Now, she's finished uni and she's moved back home and we are all on, on the farm. Um, we all have our own separate homes, of course. Um, and then I've had more grandchildren born into the area and, and they... They just love it. They go to the local schools and uh, they they play netball. They down in Raymond Terrace, which is not far to go. So all their sporting requirements are all fulfilled. 
Yeah, so that's it. They can do whatever they want, really, can't they? Can be, yeah. again, like us, as busy as they want to be. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do you have any tips for those considering moving to the country? My biggest tip would be think positive, embrace it, and enjoy it. Good advice. And Karen, Diana, your daughter, is now studying again, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she's um, studying at Newcastle University and um, she's actually doing her Masters now in, in Work, Health and Safety. And and our granddaughter, who is now 21, she's studying by distant education with uh, UNE at Armidale. She's doing ag and ag, ag business. Then our eldest daughter who is actually running our farm um, now, she um, she picks up ev every little biosecurity course, any course that's going through the Tokal College, which, which is, is only 45, 50 minutes away from here. So every everything, every as far as education is concerned, everything is at your fingertips. Yeah, it's great. They certainly don't miss out on anything here, do they? No, no, they they don't. And, and if if your child's keen, um, well, then th they will find these courses just like my, my children do. Yeah, exactly. And just thinking about that, we've also got an Olympian in our area as well, haven't we? So, we do. Yeah, yeah, certainly yeah. the children can do whatever they choose to do. Yes, yeah. yeah. Look, that, and they can. Our, our eldest granddaughter is a um, state age champion in in rowing in in doubles you know so she used to train at Morpeth you know she would leave the farm at 4 30 in the morning but that was her choice and she she enjoyed that before going to school yeah yeah just the dedications there so they just take that opportunity exactly yeah no that's wonderful okay and so I just wanted to check with you before we finish up do you have any regrets about moving to the country? I have no regrets whatsoever. It, it's just been fantastic. And, and when I see the news of a night, I just think how lucky we are that our grandchildren are growing up in this area. They have everything at their fingertips um, and they, they just love being outside. They just love the atmosphere. They have their friends. Yeah, you've got you've got to travel sometimes to to drop little friends off and pick pick your grandchildren up. But um, that's all part of country living. Exactly, and like we said before, the commuting is very enjoyable as well, isn't it? So it's not a chore. No, not at all, not at all. Because you, you know, I just like yourself, Denise. I do a lot of thinking, a lot of planning in the car, and. Um, and I am fulfilling a lot of dreams I've always I've always dreamt and and that was to to own my own patchwork shop which we've done we run retreats and and patchwork lessons on the farm and uh, hopefully in early 2017 we we start the building of our cafe and farm gate shop on the farm well I can't wait for that I must say that's going to be amazing and just another wonderful thing for our community Thank you so much, Karen, for coming in and chatting to us today. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me, Denise. It's a pleasure to share our experience. It is. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. That is podcast number six. I hope you've got great value out of that. And once again, I'd like to thank Karen for coming in and joining us. It's been wonderful. If you would like to find out more about r and Property and the Stroud, Gloucester and Buller dealer areas, whether buying or selling, contact us on 02 4994 5766 or via our website at www.rnrproperty.com.au. On behalf of Denise Haynes and the team, thank you for joining us and please remember to subscribe to our podcasts.